different to each man who can be fate. What is up everyone? How you all doing? Um, welcome to my first video where I'm actually speaking to you face to face, man to man or man to woman, or man to man woman, if you're something in between. I don't really care. But yeah, welcome to my first video where I'm actually speaking to you. And um, yeah, and this video, as you may be able to tell from the title, is how university life is actually like. Because a lot of people have different expectations. Some people actually think you're going to go out there and you're going to smash it, hitting parties every single night. But when you're living in London, you can do that anyways, really. You can just go to a party or something like that. Now, especially when you're a young British Muslim like me, who doesn't really like to party, who just wants to do this thing in it, and just wants to, want to study. Well, there's other issues as well, really. Because uh, you think to yourself, look, yeah, I am going to study throughout the year. I'm going to smack it never works out right you end up all all year long sleeping on your bed and the work is piling up next to you on your desk and in the last week before your exam you panic and that happens to everyone don't try to deny it you've done it at a levels in gcscs you've probably done it in the first year of uni and then you start to realize look i need to fix up and uh, well, that's how I went, literally, throughout my, all of my A-levels, all of my GCSEs, and my university, my first year universities, I'm going to my second now. And you know what, I didn't really revise that much throughout the year, and I kind of regret it, and I hope no one else does that mistake, but yeah, let me show you how it actually works out. I need to finish this book in the whole year. You know what, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm kind of tired still. Why did I have to do that? Oh shit! Yo, what month is it? Oh crap. So which one did I have to learn first? Shit. Literally guys, this is how it is. You're gonna sit there and you're gonna panic. You're gonna panic that you have an exam in what, a week? And you have not done anything. You All you did is attend, 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 um, what's it called, the lectures and the seminars, and that's about it. And that's not the only issue in university, there's other issues as well. For example, getting to university is an issue, especially in London. Like, if, you, if your university is in central London, right, and, you know, congestion charges, you can't take your car there, first of all. Second of all, even if you can, where are you going to park it? Right, you're not paying for parking, are you? You're a student. Now, the best way is taking tube, but there's ups and downs for that. Up, you get there, it's mostly dry, unless you, you know, up this. Anyways, but you get there mostly dry to university, and um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the only upside of it. The downside is, basically, you're taking the same route every single day, for a whole year, until the end of your exams. You're stressing about life, you have no job, and all you want to do is study, but you can't get your head around studying. And that's an issue really so you're sitting there on your tube traveling there a lot of the times you're by yourself why 
because your friends that you knew from college even though they go to the same university if you're lucky they're not doing the same courses as you or they're not doing the same modules so the issue still arises some of you go in the morning at 10 the other person goes at 2 o'clock in the afternoon so that's an issue really and you know coming back is not easy either because then someone finishes at 11 and then he's not gonna he's not gonna wait until someone finishes at 3 p.m is he sometimes you're literally sitting there depressed for your life and you're thinking to yourself what has my life gotten to literally it's not only me some of my mates have been telling me this as well that they sit on tube they got headphones in but the music gets so boring because you're listening to the same thing again and again you probably are thinking oh why doesn't he just read a book well it's kind of hard really because I'm gonna go from Clapham Junction to Victoria and going there in the first place right the, the trains are packed you can't really stand up properly so you're not gonna take out a book right and plus you're the whole time all the time you're shaking around you need to make space for this guy to get through for this guy you can't concentrate on your reading so for 40 minutes while I'm traveling there I'm not reading anything I'm just got my headphones and listen to the same thing again and again walking the same way every single day taking the same train It leads to depression and everything so I recommend everyone you know as soon as you hit university you find an alternative somehow you know or every now and then take a different route maybe go a little earlier even if your mates going go a little earlier go with them and if you're at university go library because then that's where you can actually study especially at the beginning of the year you want to get that done get your studies done and you don't want it to pile up like I pile up my work another issue is obviously the partying bit you think you're gonna have the most social life ever like it's in hollywood movies like it's portrayed you know you know you're going to parties every single weekend is going down and you're starting at the same time that's not going to happen you either choose you go party you flop your year or you actually study or you do what i do which is absolutely nothing throughout the year you do nothing all you do is lay down on your bed and sleep literally and that's how my years literally went last year I did absolutely nothing and somehow I actually was able to get through to my second year but you know I don't think I'm gonna get into my third year if I do the same thing this year so I'm trying to fix myself and I'm hoping you guys can actually do that as well so I'm literally I'm telling you the first year do it as if it's this is your last year and you must get a good grade because if you think to yourself oh it's my first year it doesn't count or anything you're gonna end up like me you're gonna think to, you're gonna you're gonna be sleeping one day and then at the end of the year, even if you get through, you're like, I didn't learn anything throughout the year. Yeah. And then you're like me, a week before, before um, the actual exam, you're sitting there in library, learning it, not revising it, because revising is something you've already learnt. And then you're revising, you're looking over the notes again. No, you're still learning it because you didn't listen the first time because you was an idiot like me. But you know what? Right? These are the issues really. So, I mean, get your studies done. It's very, very easy. If you think about it, right? Now, um, for example, what I study is philosophy, so I get one reading before before my actual, you know, um, lecture, and that reading is discussed in the seminar. So it's pretty easy, really. But if you don't do your reading, you're kind of lost in a lecture. So what you can do, well, take a, take out one hour or two even maximum two before your actual class, do your reading and you read it, and then when you go to a lecture, you know what's going on. It's easier for, to, for you to learn that and then you know sometime at the end of the week look over the notes a little bit and that's about it you don't need to do much anyways right it's so easy so easy in your mind but when it comes to doing it it's so hard so I best I best recommend you get your studies sorted don't don't think that yo this person is doing his his you know he's doing it like this I should do like that as well nah man seriously you know yourself best Right, it's best if you study throughout the year. Don't don't be you know sleeping like me all the time, I'm doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, I just realized my mom's not proud of me. Anyway, man, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys do better than me 
in your first year, your second year, your third year, whatever, whatever year you're going to. Same with A-levels, I never revise, so even if you're in A-levels, do your A-levels properly, GCSEs, do them properly, seriously. Because you know what, the things you learn there, you'll think about in the future and you'll you actually need them. For example, maths, I thought I've never never actually used it. And you know, everyone, you know, how, you know how it is in South London, especially, you're like, oh, maths, who's going to do maths in the future? You don't need it. Yo, trust me, you're going to need it in the future. You're going look, to look like an idiot out here. So yeah, man, do your studies, revise, this and that. But you know, ha have some chill time as well and don't always be sticking into them books. And um, if, if you know, you practice your faith, practice your faith as well. There's no harm in it. And uh, don't end up like me. You don't want to end up like me. Although, if you think about it, it's not even that bad for me. Actually, wait. Yeah, I got into second year of university and BA philosophy without even revising really. I'd learnt it all in two weeks. So, it's kind of win-win for me, but it doesn't always work out like that because there's a lot of people I know that dropped out as well, so. You don't want to end up like them, innit? And plus you don't want to be an idiot like me, because look at me. Anyways guys, take care. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. I know this is not the best video ever, but you know, try to get my message across that you should actually study for your year year. Don't be thinking about chilling this and that, because you know what, well, at the end of the day, after you're done with your university, do whatever you want really. You, you know, you know, you think you're gonna get into work and you're gonna get too busy. Yo, come on man, get, get your schedule right and you won't get that busy really. But yeah, get your mind to it, do your studies. You know, stay a little fit as well and go running. Don't be a fat ass waste man like me so yeah get out there get your stuff done and yeah take care of yourselves man you know what i'm done do you know how often i had to listen to this shit music damn it come here turn off